Hey YouTube, it's me and Cora, and in this video I want to show you guys how to get your iOS 7.1 back up on iOS 7.0.4. So here, as you can see, I'll show you guys. I am on beta 4 right now, you know, and about. I'm on beta 4, as you can see from my build number right there. It's beta 4. So, and on my computer, I have, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need your computer and you have to install iTunes. So after installing iTunes, make sure you plug in your device, obviously, and make sure you back it up via i i, I mean iTunes. You cannot do this um, process during um, iCloud, so that part sucks. But do it with iCloud. I mean iTunes. So as you can see, I backed up right now to this computer. Not right now, but it was um. Let me back up right now again. I don't want to back up my apps, and I can just. Wait for it to back up. <coughs> and actually, I don't even want to back. I'll actually back up my app. So let's see how long that will take. And then we can get started on that. So I'll just skip right after complete backing up. So I have completed my backup. And this is what you're going to want to do. Set your phone aside for a while. And hide iTunes. Get on your desktop. I want you to hit this little tab called Go right there go and open that up and here you have all these options so while you're on go I want you to hold option and you get a new option called library open that I want you to go to um, application support go to mobile sync and backup and today 10 o'clock p.m. as you can see right there there open up that file so go scroll all the way down until it goes up to info.plist and I'll leave a link down below to for the plist editor so you're just gonna right click and open with plist edit pro and we're gonna edit it right now okay it's open as you can see it have my information right there I'm gonna cover up my number and as you can see, it says 7.1. All you're going to want to do is go 7.0.4, right? Enter and file. I mean, view, hello, yes. File and save. And that's all you got to do. And exit this out. And boom, you're done. You can just restore your device to iOS 7.0.4. I'll have the link down below for that too. And you can just restore and it's that easy it's really that easy i just figured this out and it's awesome i got it i got this from a link right here um let me just change this back since i've already done it and i'm not going to be doing this on my iphone 5s since i already done it or and i'm gonna go to my 7.1 backup because i i've already i've already been jailbroken and i don't want to be jailbroken again so here and i have it right here from Mac Rumors, I got this. Big shout out to this guy. This guy right here. He gave me all these instructions. So if you still didn't understand it, read them from right here. There, it's right here, so you can read it. And um, that's it for this video, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.